Junior Dragster. My name is Bill. If you haven't learned about it yet, go ahead and check out us, check us out at Junior Dragster Plus. Uh, that'll be you know I'll add a link at the uh, bottom of this uh, video here. And my name is uh, my username on the board is Wild Bill. Go ahead, and ask it all the questions you want. There are no silly questions, just, you know, we've heard it all before, and we've all been there before, so go ahead, give us a shout out, and check us out, and we'll be more, we'll all be more than happy to help you. Now, on to the video. Time for another video. This time we're going, this video we're going to be talking about replacing the brake pads in your standard MCP brake caliper. Uh, pretty sure that, uh, pretty sure all the other calipers that you'll see out there, uh, Willwood and everything else, probably, you know, pretty close to this. I haven't had my hands on any of those. These are what I've always run, but they're pretty much, uh, they're, they've been pretty much a standard ever since, uh, Junior Dragsters have started. These happen to be off of, uh, Caitlin's car, which I have torn apart right now getting repowdered, it's out for powder coating, so let's get to it. Alright, what you're going to need is a couple uh, Allen wrenches, either your T-handle or your regular Allen wrenches. I got here a quarter inch and a three-sixteenths. And of course you're going to need, in this case it happens to be 9 16 wrenches, these will be the bolts that hold it onto the car. Obviously it's not on the car right now, so we just have to take these bolts out and get you a better look at what's going on here. Doesn't quite move around so much when everything's on the car. Get your shim spacer, goes in between the two caliper halves, these two little notches right here, fit right down over the bolts, helps give you a little clearance for the new NHRA, since NHRA mandated the use of a quarter inch thick rotor a couple of years ago. You probably fit it in there, you know, just barely. You know, there's just enough room for a quarter inch rotor to fit in here without this shim, but it definitely gives you a little more, little bit more clearance, you know, and wiggle room, if you will. Now I'll just take these caliper halves apart. You see though, there's no fluid connection in between the two caliper halves. You know, you'll either have, you know, two separate lines coming from the master cylinder, or you'll actually have, you'll see cars that have, uh, and maybe your car has this, where you've got one line coming in, and then to a T with a jumper line going over to the other half. Just another way to do it. Now what you got holding the pad in, Take your 3 16 Allen and you'll, you know, down in through the center of your adjuster and just unscrew her out. Same thing on the other one. And she'll come right out. 
And when you go to put them back in, I like to take the, uh, or go to put the new ones back in, I like to take the adjusters, you run them in a little bit so I can be able to look down in through here and be able to see that I'm contact, you know, that I'm seating the uh, pad properly all the way and I can see everything getting started. You know, that'll bring everything up closer to, you know, up above the surface there. Now we got our new pads. Now your pads are probably going to look a little different than this. These are what they call the green pads because my car has, my, both my cars have the uh, aluminum rotor. Pad material is going to be different for both, so make sure you check on that. And you just put your pad in there, get it kind of fitting right on top, and I don't know if you can see in there, but you want to make sure that you get one started a little bit, get the other one, you know, and just do them both a little bit at a time, so you don't cock, you don't cock the uh, pad on the thread, risk damaging your threads. But get them both in there, get them tight up against the adjusters. And then you can go ahead, you know, I'll let you, I'll, watch, I'll do it this way so you can see if you can watch that gap close up as I back the adjusters back out. And how that brings the uh, pad effectively, you know, further away from the rotor you just take them all the way out till we get them back on the car and get the calipers back on the car and then we can start running them in and uh, setting the clearance for how much clearance we want between the pads and the rotor you can go ahead and back these all the way out. See, that one just stopped. Go ahead and back these all the way out. You know, your pad's not going to come off because it's screwed in with the uh, bolt on the inside. Now, we just do the same thing on the other side. Go ahead. Pop these loose. Out comes the pad. Run these up a little bit. Wow, oh, that one's a little tight. There we go. Now oh, she's moving. Change out the uh, brake heads on the uh, MCP caliper. Got the old ones out. None the worse for wear, but it need you know. I wanted to do it anyway, so. All right. 
I guess that'll do it for this video, and I hope this helps you out, and we'll see you next time.